Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be working on doing the installation of our fog light, uh, daylight running, turn signals um, kit for the uh, RAV4 LE. Um, so I figured I'd do a tabletop just to kind of explain how um, everything works, the changes that we're going to be doing to it, and also some of the wiring um, to look at ahead of time so that you can kind of figure out what's going on before you have everything installed on the car. and don't know what's happening basically um, so we've got our Milwaukee 12 volt battery here this is just going to stand in for the car battery so that you can kind of see how things are wired up um, I'll show you what we're going to what we're going to be doing and then go into a, a smaller detail um, of each little component and um, how it all how it all works so it's basically two it's one kit but it's got two kind of separate portions this is your uh, basically your daylight running lights and turn signal um, assembly with its wiring harness and then on the back you can see here this is where you bolt on your fog light assemblies they come with uh, halogens um, from eBay um, already installed but we're going to change them out two LEDs. Okay, we've got these wired up on the switch. I've got the LED just out here by itself and I've got the halogen in the housing. And we went with the switch back, so if you switch the button one more time, it'll go amber, or yellow actually. So that'll be good for fog and snow. One more click, it goes back to white. Okay, so right now I'll show you what the LED looks like going into the housing. We're going to remove the halogen that it comes with. And then install our LED. So that's the fog lights. Um, we'll show the installation into the housing a little bit later. So I'm gonna move on to showing you the same battery. Again, this is a M12 for 12 volt. It's just like a smaller car battery. So on our fog lights, this will have turn signals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these plugged in you can see what they look like. The yellow is your turn signals. You've got rain lights. Okay, as part of this assembly, this is your switch that's gonna go into your dashboard. Um, it comes out or it assembles like that. So later on, we'll be showing this installation and clipping it in from behind. Now this is going to go through our firewall and this is basically the harness that goes through our firewall. <clears throat> uh, some people are cutting these and then splicing them back together. What I like to do just to keep everything simple with the least amount of cuts as possible is just go into your connector. We'll get a zoom in picture of this, but these just have little clips that are just hold it in place whenever the wire pushes through. So we're just gonna push these in. And these are the little clips. So now that these are out, you just want to pay attention to which which side one where. And it basically looks like that. So um, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to wrap these tight and then we will pull them from the inside of the car out through a hole and into the engine bay and then that'll keep us from having to cut the harness okay we're going to go ahead and build the two assemblies together this is going to be on the driver's side which they designate as left there's an l on this housing also an l on this bracket that's part of the fog light housing and there's also an l right here so we know which side because these are specific to each side the way that they're angled so we have to cut the opening here for fog light to go through This goes, this one doesn't actually get a bolt or a screw, it just slides in to there. On this side, just push down into place. So grab one of your supplied screws. Built. This is where our LEDs are going to go in, and then this adjusts the pitch up and down once you get it installed. We'll repeat the process for the passenger side. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and start removing our inner fender well. It's going to have uh, clips and some bolts. So we'll just start and work our way around the outside and then towards the the middle.
All right, everybody, now that we've got the inner fender well loose, I've taken off our outside support here. And then we also removed the under, I don't know what you call it, under spoiler or cover from the, across the front of the uh, car. Now we've got open access to get all the way up in here and get to our cover and start removing it. We're going to go ahead and turn the wheel to the right to give us a little bit more room and we'll get working on it. Okay, first we want to do is to remove this top pin. It's kind of hard to get to. So now I'm going to go ahead and start hooking up. Okay, so we've got that uh, this fog light on installed. The factory wiring harness um, has been put back into place, all the clips, and it fit perfect. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next um, part of the assembly. Okay, everybody, now that we've got our housing in place on the driver's side, 
we're going to go ahead and run our switch harness while we've got this part open. Um, we're going to go underneath our hood release line. There's a grommet right here. The grommet is actually part of, of the wire or the cable. You can see the clamp right here. So we're just going to go underneath and go straight into the cabin. Okay, now that we've got our wire through underneath the grommet, we're going to go onto the inside and tape our switch harness onto it and then pull it back through. Okay, we are going to go ahead and tape our switch harness onto our wire that we have pulled through. Okay. okay, we're going to go ahead and remove our panels and get access to where our switch is going to go, just right here. So we're going to go ahead and pull the panels. This one just pops loose. There's a nut on this inside. That nut there, you just un you just loosen it up and then this panel will come loose. Now that that nut has been removed, pop this panel loose. Remove this bolt here. Two side clips. There's a plug. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and install our plug. And just like this one, we'll do it with the illumination. like that. So we'll go ahead and grab the end of our wire. And fish it up through. Now we will put 
our bolt back in here. Install our side panel here. And that's it. The uh, interior part basically is done. Okay, now that we Got our switch installed inside. We're back under the wheel well. We're going to go ahead and remove the tape off of the harness and then put our connector back on. Okay. So this goes black, yellow, Alright, so we have our wire from inside the cab underneath here, and we've routed the connector down behind the headlight. So we're going to connect that there, and then we're going to zip tie it onto our hood latch cable, just to keep it up out of the way. And then we should be fine once we get the fender well back installed. Okay, we got everything zip tied up in place, secured. All right, we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, um, this is our relay. Comes with it. We just ran the wire down behind the headlight underneath for the switch and we were looking for a place to mount this and I think what we're going to do is just mount it in this plastic cover here instead of using a screw we're going to use a plastic push pin so that if we need to remove it we can just take it out we don't really need any, anything crazy so we're just going to drill a hole that matches the same size into here and then we'll just use a plastic push pin it should look nice and finished Okay, now that we've got our wires for the our wire harness for our fog lights, and down here, we'll go ahead and install the driver's side. Okay, now that it's in. And then we're going to zip tie onto the existing harness here.
Okay, so on the passenger side, you've got a lot less room. You've got your windshield wiper fluid reservoir here. As you can tell, it's much tighter. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our top clip, and then we can pop this out. Okay, now that we've got the top clip removed, we're gonna go ahead and pull these free this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install our new one. Okay, we got that in, so we're gonna go ahead and install our LED. secured some zip ties to this harness okay now we get our wire zip uh, zip tied here secure so the resistor is uh, not gonna move or pull on it now we've got a plug in to our harness I've got that ran across underneath Never clicked our connector daylight. Daylight lights. Daytime lights. All right. Now I'll go back in there and I'll put them in, give us some. Okay, so we've got our fog light in, we've got our harnesses connected to the fog light and the daylight running lights. Um, I wired or ran the wire for the daylight running lights up to the top of the engine bay and we're going to go ahead and button up the side, go ahead and put our inner fender well back on and our outside here we're done with the actual installation of the lights. So all we have left to do is the wiring. Okay, we've got the passenger side inner wheel well um, all put back together with our outer body molding. Now we're gonna put on our bottom cover, secure it, and then secure, um, I guess, and reinstall our inner wheel well on this side, our outer body panel, We've got all of our wires up into the engine bay. Here's our turn signal for the fog light. We've just got both of them just held in place up here. So we've got all the harnesses ready to wire. So we're going to go ahead and button up the bottom and then we'll move up top. Hey guys, now we're working on the wiring for the fog lights. We've already shown here where we installed our relay on the side here. I ran our ground just back under our fuse panel and then I grounded it on this bolt here which just made more sense than running it to the battery to the negative side. Now we've this is our power that's going to go to our battery for our 12 volt power and it's kind of short so what I was going to do was just extend this out over here so I started looking and this is our fuse right here this comes with the harness and this is just kind of it's just open and 
it's just kind of crappy. It's, everything's kind of loose. So what I decided to do, I already had an inline fuse holder that has a waterproof little cover. And this extra length will allow me to route it where I need to. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these wires here, splice in my fuse holder, and then that'll get us to the battery. I'm not gonna show all the splicing and um, connecting into this video, but we'll we'll have that on a separate one for kind of like electrical. Okay, so for our next part of the installation, we are going to be removing our turn signal bolts here, and we're gonna run our wire down into this connector. So we'll push down this tab, pull it loose, and our turn signal wire is this green and white one on the driver's side. I'm just going to get this in. Push this down into where the green and white wire is. So, we've got the wire in with the green and the white. In. We'll do final wire management once we make sure that everything is working right. But for just now, we'll just leave it like this. And then we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Alright, here is our passenger side. And you run that into the green wire. Okay, so I'll show you what we've actually got done since we've got it tapped into our Raptor lights. Our Raptor lights come on, they run Anytime the car is on, the Raptor lights are on. So now our daytime running lights um, on our on the outside of our fog lights will be on the whole time. And then I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with uh, our fog lights as well. The fog lights, um, we actually use the, um, the switchbacks. And so it's a, I'll show you how we go from white LED um, to yellow. So this is what it's going to look like whenever it's, anytime it's on. And now I'll do our fog lights. The first push will give us the bright white. I think it's 6,000 K. And then second turns it off. The next one goes into a 3,000 um, yellow. So it's nice to have the option where you can run either the yellow or the white with just a push of a button. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like, share, subscribe. And we look forward to uh, showing you some more videos. Thanks. Hey guys, so today we finished the installation of our fog light, daylight running lights. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and see what they look like. So those are our switchbacks and our turn signals for daylight running. 